Hi, everyone, and thank you so much for watching World Trade Wednesday. Yesterday, we did our first attempt at a live YouTube stream, but we were having technical difficulties, so we switched over to the Facebook Live format. For those of you that missed it, that were tuned in on our YouTube channel, we have a recording for you following this intro. Thank you so much for staying tuned and watching and supporting World Trade Wednesday. My guest for today is Judge Jeff Mosley. He's the CEO of the Texas Associ Association of Business. So Judge Mosley, would you please tell us a little bit about the TAB? Well, good afternoon, Alma. What a delight to be with you, especially as you said on our USMCA Social Media Day. And that's an important time for us to talk about trade. And we talk about trade because trade equals jobs. And in this case, the numbers are just as big as Texas, massively big numbers. The Texas Association of Business has been around about 100 years. And we talk about trade because the numbers, like we said, are almost 700,000 Texans working because of trade with Mexico. So there really isn't anything more important to talk about than this discussion we're having this afternoon. And uh, the Texas Association of Business is a member organization. We fight for jobs and paychecks. And we're especially, especially concerned about the slowdown on the border as it's related to this discussion on trade. Yeah, of course, um, being here in Laredo, that it, we've seen a lot in these last few weeks in regards to the, the, the delays at the border for trade. So you mentioned that you're, you're a member-driven organization and, of course, the importance of jobs, 700,000 jobs. is You guys created from the Texas Association of Business, the Texas-Mexico Trade Coalition, correct? That is absolutely right because there's so much of our Texas economy that's tied to trade. We knew we had to set up a division within the Texas Association of Business. That division is called the Texas-Mexico Trade Coalition. And we have our member companies that really care about this issue uh, come together. Companies like the International Bank of Commerce, based right there in Laredo, have been strategic partners and leaders in our Texas-Mexico Trade Coalition. Yes. And I know that you guys represent a lot of small business, as does the, uh, what the what's at stake when it, we talk about the free trade agreement. Um, us being a small business as well, the last two years or so have really caused us to be more active and reach out to our elected officials and our fellow business um, owners and the industry in general, just to make sure they understand what is going on for, for businesses and job growth. So some of the benefits of the Texas-Mexico Trade Coalition, you know, you talk about, you know, actively meeting with administration. So I know you've been active not only at the state level in Austin, but definitely some presence at the federal level. Yeah, one of our biggest uh, strengths and something we brag about is that over one half of our 2,500 members are small businesses. We're also very proud of the fact that we're the state chamber of commerce. And so we enjoy having 200 chambers around the state that are members of the Texas Association of Business. And it's our privilege to step forward and make sure that their voice is heard. Yes, we've been working in Washington. We've been there to stand with our congressional delegation, our U.S. senators. Uh, Senator Cornyn's been very active. Senator Cruz has been active in this discussion. And then uh, Congressman Brady, Congressman Cuellar currently are leading a discussion on how to make sure that our Texas delegation is in lockstep and supporting a ratification of what today is a proposal. The proposal is the U.S.-Mexico-Canada Agreement for Trade, USMCA as we call it. There was a signing ceremony in Buenos Aires at a trade summit not too many months ago, but now the heavy lifting. And that means that, that Congress has to ratify it. And so we're pleased to be a strategic full partner in getting out and working with our Texas congressional delegation to see where they are in voting in favor of ratifying USMCA. 
Yes, very important factors. And we're talking about what's at stake right now because we, we mentioned 700,000 Texas jobs. Let's just reiterate that point again. And on a national level, over 12 million American jobs depend on trade with Mexico and Canada. What else is at stake? What are the numbers? What are the statistics we're talking about here? It's no secret that about a decade and a half ago, Texas became the number one exporting state in the United States, eclipsing California. The rest of the story is that our number one trading partner of the United States and Texas is Mexico. And so this relationship is so vibrant, it's about $173 billion per year. You know this living in Laredo, you know, just looking at 18 wheelers, that's can be as many as 16,000 of these trucks that are crossing every day. Yeah. And so the goods going to market are staggering. The numbers are so vast and big, but they're especially big because of what they represent for the Texas economy. Yes, no, exactly. And and we talked about uh, $173 billion worth of goods exchanged in a year. And, and, of course, yeah, Mexico just became the number one trading partner um, not that long ago. Oh, it's it's enjoyed that. I think really, uh, you know, there's been some discussions about how, how NAFTA uh, wasn't such a strong trade agreement. But the facts are that it was very robust and it outperformed all of the statistics and projections. And so that propelled Mexico to be even a stronger partner with the United States and especially with Texas. And so now you have 120,000 small businesses in the state of Texas that are benefiting from this trade relationship. Yeah, and those are, I guess you say direct numbers because for example, us being a small business, you think about every entity that we do business with, whether we get our office supplies or you know, anything we have going on, all, all the, the community group that, or all the community work that we're able to do here in Laredo and Again, the visitations to, uh, I've been going to D.C. now. I've been twice so far this year. I'll be going again in a few weeks as part of Infrastructure Week with NASCO, the North American Strategy for Competitiveness, which is also part of the USMCA coalition. Going back to what is this absence of NAFTA, the lack of a free trade agreement, what are we talking about when it comes to numbers with yeah. what we're paying on duties and everything? What are we looking at? Well, a free trade agreement is very, very remarkable because what it essentially does and its goal is to remove all of the taxes and tariffs that are typically added when something is imported into a local economy. And so the free trade agreement has effectively removed this barrier to having trade between Mexico and the United States and Canada. But if we don't have USMCA, if we go back to a world prior to NAFTA, then all of a sudden we're going to see the old regulations and the old tariffs will come back into play. And uh, basically, the United States will pay around $6 billion in duties to Mexico. Now, the saddest thing about that is that, you know, supply chains are very, very fragile. And so all of a sudden, if you have businesses that are in Texas relying on buying sub-assembly parts or component parts or maybe even ag produce and those tariffs take those products out and they're not they're not as competitive then Mexico may start to lose its market share to those Texas markets and vice versa Texas sending goods into the Mexican marketplace you might see other countries step in and replace those suppliers so that was our World Trade Wednesday live feed from Facebook from yesterday's episode with Judge Jeff Mosley of Texas Association of Business. We did this as part of the USMCA Coalition Social Media Day of Action, where we're asking for the passing of USMCA now, was the official hashtag, USMCA now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'd love to hear your feedback. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you next week for World Trade Wednesday.